There's a new push tonight to increase the penalties when a pet attacks and injures someone here in Ohio. NBC4's Ohio State House newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey explains what is being done to balance the scales of accountability. The last General Assembly ended, and that stopped a bill that looked to charge dog owners with a felony if their pet killed someone. Now it's back, and with a little over a year to go in this session, the bill's sponsor thinks it might get passed. State Senator Bill Beagle has once again introduced a bill to revise the law relating to nuisance, dangerous, and vicious dogs. We need this legislation because there are people who are getting severely hurt and killed, and the owners of the dogs responsible aren't being charged with, with you know, crimes that, that really fit the, what's happened. His passion for this is a result of the death of Klonda Ritchie. Ritchie was mauled to death by neighbors' dogs in Dayton in February 2014. Our prosecutor and law enforcement could only um, charge these owners with misdemeanors. And, and my community was outraged at that. Last time the bill was introduced, it took months to sort things out and get everyone on board with the proposal. It took too long, and the bill died as the session came to an end. This time, his legislation has a companion bill that will go through the House while his goes through the Senate. It's my hope that this bill will get through to protect all those children and adults who, who, who get bit and certainly uh, get severely injured. In addition to adding the possibility of felony charges, it allows dog wardens to make an arrest in limited circumstances and increases the number of years convicted felons must wait before owning a dog. At the State House, Jason Aubrey, NBC4.